pretty comp here. Hey! Hey! Old man, what is it? Will you get over here already? Listen, if this is about you not being in a video for a while, look, I told you a million times, man. It, it's just, I, I can't, I'm not gonna just take a random stupid thing to try to throw you in a video. Just, pe people, people expect me to have real comedy. Oh, for God's sake, thank you, YouTube. Just come over here. <laughs> Fine. What is it, old man? Hey. <laughs> I need to give you something before I pass on to the next life. Oh, sweet. No, don't open it yet. You must wait until you're ready, young man. There will come a time in your life when things will suck really, really bad. And then you'll know you're ready for that. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that my life's about 10% worse now, so I think I'm ready. Wait, not yet. Oh, sweet! A Steve gift card! Thanks, old man! <sighs> I'm gonna go buy a new game right now! As in right just now! Oh, yeah! Wait a second. Oh, man! I already had Stardew Valley! I didn't need this! Old man? Old man? Old man? Old, I, I, old man? You, you better not be ignoring me. I, I cannot, I can't, I can't believe you disrespect me like this. <sighs> He's fine. Hey, what is going on guys? Being a Hardy here, aka Duende One Day, and welcome to Homeschooled Nerd. So something you guys may or may not know about me is that I have a weakness when it comes to simulation games. Games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and The Sims. While certainly not my favorite type of game, still I have sunk quite a few hours into these kind of games. But one type of simulation game that I've never gotten into was Farm Simulation. For example, Harvest Moon. For those of you who don't know, Harvest Moon is a series of games where you tend your own farm, growing crops, raising animals, and even making friends. Many of the games are some of the highest acclaimed life and farm simulation RPGs ever made. So one day I decided to try out Harvest Moon for the Nintendo 64. And I gotta say, I hear it. Harvest Moon 64 bored the living lunch out of me. The game was hard to figure out, nothing was really that fun, and the people weren't really that interesting. On top of this, the side plot just felt really forced. Like, it's a game about farming, I don't need no berries that need help or whatever. Come on, let's just go plant some stuff. So after this, I was kind of hesitant about getting into Stardew Valley, a game that was inspired by the Harvest Moon series. So Stardew Valley is of course a farming simulation role-playing game created by indie game designer Eric Barone, or as he calls himself online, Concerned 8. He originally started creating the game in order to improve his computer skills as well as creating an alternative to Harvest Moon as he was disappointed with the later games in the series. Then nearly 4 years after announcing it, we got this. Stardew Valley released for Windows on February 26, 2016. While I heard great things about it, after my experience with Harvest Moon, needless to say I was less than optimistic. So. Let's check it out, why don't we? Yeah. The first thing that stuck out to me was just how good this game looks. From the moment I saw the title screen, I knew, yeah, this is gonna be good. Remember, this was all made by one guy, from the art, the programming, the dialogue, the music, one dude. That in and of itself is incredible, and then once you consider the fact that this game excels in all these areas, yeah, Concerned Ape, you are one talented guy. I honestly don't mind spoiling any of my thoughts on the game starting out. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. This game was a ton of fun to play. But anywho, enough yap yap, let's get into the actual meat of this game. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is make our character, Pooba. And of course our farm will be called Pooh Hills Farm. It just rolls right off the tongue. Favorite thing? Hot girls. This is also where you can change the type of farm you're going to be running. Think of this like your seed world in Minecraft. You can have a normal farm, which was the only kind of farm available when I first played, a forest farm, which is great for harvesting wood, and even a survival farm where monsters come out at night. But at any rate, let's just stick with the fall farm for now and get started making the greatest farm in the world. 
So the game starts out with our grandfather on his deathbed, giving us a letter, but telling us not to open it until wait until quote. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing and <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. I'm really excited about my life now. Grown-ups. Then, 20 years later, we find, sure enough, Pooba is stuck in a 9-to-5 job and is feeling sad. But hey, at least this guy's happy. He just will not stop licking his lips. Like, he's so happy, he just can't stop licking his lips. Okay, seriously, dude, why are you doing that? So he opens his grandpa's letter and finds it to be the deed of his grandpa's farm. So we get on a bus and head on down to Stardew Valley. Once there, we're greeted by Robin, the town carpenter, who takes us to the farm, which turns out to be nothing but a natural disaster disguised as a farm. How could you do this to me, grandpa? How could you do this? <laughs> Sucker. Okay, it's alright. I mean, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but we can do this. And soon this will be the greatest farm in Stardew Valley. Also, the only farm in Stardew Valley... Really? So I bet you're wondering, Vinny Harned, what do you do in Stardew Valley? Well, fellow nerds and nurses, you farm. Starting out, the mayor gives you some seeds to start you out on your garden. Different crops cost different amounts for the seeds and are stolen for different amounts once they're ready to harvest. My favorite crop by far is fruit trees, as they take very little work, which is important since you only have so much energy every day, and produce the highest yielding crop. But making money is by no means limited to farming. You can also forage for wild berries and whatnot, cut down trees and sell the wood, go fishing, and even go mining in the cave for copper, steel, and other stuff. I personally think that's one of the biggest selling points for Stardew Valley. There is so much to do in the game to keep you busy for multiple playthroughs. If you're tired of farming, you can go foraging or mining or just spend a day fishing. And of course, we can't forget my favorite part of the game, your social life. Stardew Valley is a super cool community of characters who you can get to know better by talking to them and giving gifts. As easy as it sounds though, giving people gifts is actually pretty difficult to do as you have to try to figure out each person's taste and what they like. You can figure this out by trial and error or wait for someone to send you a letter asking for something or you can just look it up on the internet because that's always a thing. You know, sometimes I wish you could do that for people in real life too. Yo, what am I gonna get Tana for her birthday? Well, I don't know. What does she like? I don't know! Well, just just look her up on the Homeschool Nerd Wiki. Oh, great idea! On top of this, there are a ton of people to meet in town. Some of my favorites being Sebastian because he's into computers just like me, and Robin who's really nice. Although, probably just because she wants me to buy House of Grace and farm buildings. You better not be brown nosing me, Robin! Each of the characters have their own personality and schedule that they adhere to throughout the day, even changing through different seasons. You got shopkeepers, a blacksmith, and due to this library slash museum, the local school teacher, and tons of others. As you grow closer to people, you can trigger different events, which is pretty cool, but the coolest part is of course getting in with the Ladies. Obviously, having never been a big fan of farm simulation games, the farming wasn't super appealing to me. But what was fun was talking to people and trying to make friends. Because that's totally a thing I do in real life, too. So, it's, it's the same thing, right? And most importantly, getting a girlfriend. Because, what else is life about? So Stardew Valley has multiple bachelors and bachelorettes who you can date and even marry eventually. Each character is unique and, generally speaking, pretty interesting. You got characters like Abigail, who's a shopkeeper's daughter and owns a Super Nintendo, so that's definitely a selling point. Or there's Penny, who's a local school teacher who works with the kids while her mom drinks her money away. But my favorite girl by far is... Haley, The girl of my dreams. Yay. The moment I saw Haley, I knew this was one for me. Mostly because, you know, blonde. Well, to be fair, Haley isn't the most thoughtful girl in Stardew Valley. She's generally pretty lazy and spends most of her time if she's not ignoring you, busy with photography or into clothes and fashion and makeup and all that stuff girls do. Girls, am I right? She loves shopping more than anything, which I can't imagine will be too healthy on my bank account, but hey, I'm sure she's got good parts in her. Plus, she's kind of cute. I'm going to give her a chance and show her that I really care. So I did. The first two weeks in Stardew Valley, I gave Haley my undivided attention. Giving two gifts a week, talking to her every day. I even gave her some cookies that my mom sent to me. Sorry, mom. Another cool thing about the characters in Stardew Valley is that they each have their own individual routines that they follow, meaning getting close to someone also means you'll know where to find them every day. For instance, Haley hangs out in the park on early morning, practices photography on the afternoons, and on rainy days stays inside and complains about the rain. So after weeks of seducing Haley with my sexy farm boy style and charming charisma, I was finally ready to make my 
move the Spring Flower Festival. Oh boy, all these beautiful people just ready and waiting for love. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta ask Haley if she wants to dance. Alright, this is it, the moment of truth. Haley, my love, I need you in my life. Won't you dance with me at this glorious festival? Ew. No. Come on, Sebastian won't even dance with me. What? Why doesn't anyone want to dance with me? Am I not a cool guy? Why? 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 The cookies! And, and the flower! I found a dumpster! Doesn't that mean anything? It's just one dance! Well, that didn't work out quite as well as I was hoping. Getting close to someone is actually kind of difficult to do. So I bet you're wondering, Vinny Horrid? What's the best way to get a girlfriend in Stardew Valley? Well, I'm here to tell you. Hey everyone, and welcome to the totally real sequel to How to Date Like a Pro. Step one, follow her around everywhere to get to know her routine. Don't worry, she totally doesn't mind. Sometimes she doesn't even see you, which I'm kind of upset about. Step two, give gifts. Most girls love flowers, but some prefer food, especially if their mom spends all their money on beer. Step three, when you're close enough, buy the bouquet from the shop and give it to the girl to signify your relationship and move on to the next level. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. Once you get at least two hearts with someone, you can enter their room and snoop around like the creeper we all know you to be. Alright, let's see what Marnie's got in the room. Wait, what? Oh, So that's where the mayor's purple shorts he asked me to retrieve were. It all makes sense now. Admit it, we're all thinking the same thing right now. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I won't tell anyone, but I'll be watching you. Oh man, I've been spending so much time chasing Haley Rap, I forgot to work on my farm. You see, it's funny because in this game, you're supposed to spend most of the time farming, but I spend most of my time socializing because I'm so into girls. Never mind, it's dumb. So needless to say, task management is pretty important in the game. It was actually something I struggled with quite a bit at the beginning, mostly because it was so huge. With everything there is to do, it's hard to do everything the game has to offer. One super cool aspect is that everything you do is sort of linked together. For instance, when farming, one of the necessities is to water your plants once a day. But if you go mining and find copper, you can actually make sprinklers to do it for you. After the first year in Stardew Valley, my farm is slowly coming together. I was even able to upgrade the house as well as build a barn and chicken coop to start my family. Got a couple chickens, McDuck, Bluke, oh and all also, Haley and I got together. It was a really romantic moment. We hung out at the neighboring farm, played with the cows, got all muddy, so that was nice. So that's Stardew Valley. It's an awesome game, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Everything from the graphics, the music, the characters, it's awesome. It's so well designed that you don't care how many hours it takes to build up your farm because of how nice everything looks and feels. So if you're looking for a unique farm and life simulation experience, Thing, I definitely recommend checking this out. It's really cool and I like it. Thanks, old man. Old, old man? Oh, old man? Oh, no, no, old man! No, old man! Old man! No, no, old man! Ah. Darn kids. Can't you see I'm dead already? Hey guys, check out some of my other videos and subscribe.